Hi everyone, I'm Natalie Lynn and welcome back to Don't Starve. I say welcome back because it's been about two years since I've played this and recorded it. Um, I have actually been playing the game since then. I actually played for an hour earlier today. Um, it was kind of my warm-up game though. And I kind of regret not recording it because some really great stuff happened, but I guess that's just life. Um, I'm actually going to start a new game for us. Let's see. I've been playing Shipwrecked lately, and I got wrecked. It was not a fun experience. I mean, it was fun to watch, I'm sure, but... Um, I unlocked this surfer chick. She's kind of cool. I haven't played her yet, I'm kind of scared too. Um, I've been playing as Wigfrid. I'm gonna keep that going. And I gotta be honest, I play a custom world because winter is stupid. Winter is stupid. Summer is stupid. I hate it so much. Um, I guess I'm gonna try and not go super long. I My current game I've been playing, I've been doing auto with super long and it's been day 35 and I still don't know when winter is coming. Um, let's see what else there is. Um, I'm not doing caves. It's just... No thank you. <laughs> um, I do choose long days originally. Um, winter kind of screws that over anyway. Um... I actually haven't run into Vargs yet, so I'll leave that as is. I'm gonna do less hound mounts because my last game, I found the hound mounts and there were just so many of them piled together. Um, I almost died. Um, okay, I think that's good. I still, I'm playing with giants and I'm gonna regret that. I know it, but it makes for good content to see me scream at the computer. So, um, I am playing with mods. I have a few of them going on. I've got a, a mini map, which you'll see. Um, I used the craft pot to make my crock pot so much better. Um, I do use one that lets me carry lots of one item. There's a limit for each item, and some items aren't stackable, but this mod actually lets me stack rabbits. Um, Um, no. It's really, really helpful. Okay, let's get started. I am playing with mouse and keyboard. Um, I'm using my normal PC monitor setup instead of playing on the TV like I have been lately. Um, and when I do play on the TV, I use the Steam controller, if anyone cared about that. So Wigfred's really neat in that she comes with some really great things to start. So I've got her Battle Helm, which is OP, and Spear at 100% as well as for good quality meat. Um, as some of you know in Don't Starve, you have Morsels, which are from smaller animals. You have Gobblers, which are turkeys, and they have drumsticks. But then things like pigs and beefalo. Things you don't normally kill, they have meat. Uh, Wigfred is a character who can only eat meat. Oh, there he is. Screw that guy. Um, yeah, she only eats meat, which is why they're so generous in giving you four meat to start off with. Um, I do collect carrots and berries. I should have started. I should not have started collecting them so quickly. Um, I normally wait until I have a crock pot. And I just use one meat and a bunch of vegetables or fruits or whatever. And I normally end up with meatballs. It's a pretty good deal. <sighs> oh man. This doesn't seem like a very great starter location. 
for normal people, yeah, but not for Wigfred. Um, I need to be around bodies primarily. Um, I'm not chopping down these trees. Uh, the rule I play with is I only chop down the largest trees that I see, and that way I have less chance of spawning a tree guardian. Um, because they suck. <laughs> They're really hard to fight. Um, and if you don't know, a tree guardian spawns when you chop down too many trees. I'm not sure if it's too many trees at once, or if too many trees over a certain time period. Um, but the only way to kind of combat this is to chop as little trees as possible. As, I mean, not as many trees as you could. And then um, plant pine cones. Pine cones will state it. Hmm, all these yummy things that I can eat. down these birch trees yet. Um, the largest ones drop birch tree nuts when you chop them down, and those are great for either planting more birch trees, oh yes, or for um, cooking birch nuts and using them as filler in the crock pot. Um, if you are not playing as big grid and you play as someone who can in fact eat non-meat items, uh, you can use birch nuts and berries to create uh, trail mix, which is awesome for your health. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some traps. So lay down some traps, thank you. Uh, you can bait your traps with carrots. I find that if you place the trap just over the hole, you don't need to... Oh. You won't need to go and bait your traps because the rabbits will just naturally enter the trap. Um, I'll pick one over here. Do, do, do. It's always the very beginning that's kind of boring, I guess, because you don't know. Oh yeah, I got a bunny. The beginning is always kind of boring because you're just searching for the materials to get you started. Um, and then once you do get those materials, it's great because you've got goals, like actual goals, um, other than get a base and don't die. <laughs> No, I'm not planting pine cones yet. I actually use them for um whatchamacallit. I use them for fuel when I light my fire at night. And that way I'm not wasting um, straw and old grass or pieces. Grass and twigs. I need to find some more flint. I wanna start moving rocks. Hmm. I do need to get started on fire really quickly. Um, like I said, I chose long days, which means I have really short evenings um, before night starts. So I think right here is good for a temporary fire. 
I'm going to cook this delicious meat. And then put it in my rabbits and question why they didn't stack. Understanding that morsels will, um, they spoil faster than really does. So I try to eat morsels first. And niter is useful, just not to me right now. It's not going to leave it there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I could combine things on the floor. That's kind of neat. Okay, restock up on grass and eggs. I end up talking so much that my voice goes out a little, and so we're covering my cold, so I've got some decaf coffee. And I know decaf is kind of a sin sometimes, but I really need it. It's easier on my throat than hot chocolate is, otherwise I'd be drinking hot chocolate. As many of my friends know. Okay, I think I'm good for this area for now. I'm only bothering to combine the stacks because if I come and pick it up later, it's a pain to just hold on the space as I collect every little thing. Um, as I learned when I fight the frogs. Um, when you fight frogs, they... When they hit you, you start to lose items in your inventory, which is awful and mean, because then you have to go pick it up later. Um, and they tend to hit my stacks of items first. So the next thing I know, I'm trying to pick 20 pieces of grass off the floor. Because I may or may not have been hit 20 times, but that's neither here nor there. I normally play with a large world. And that way there's just more opportunities to find more things. Um, so I really want to find some gold. Uh, gold is the key to first getting started. Um, you build your science machine of gold, some other items, oh yeah. And once you have that, you can go and um, start building other items because your science machine actually lets you go and um, it gives you the opportunity to build more things. Okay, um, I don't need that. That is a seaworthy, seaworther, and it is of no use to me because I'm not playing shipwrecked. Crap, okay, well this is almost done. It's my beloved gold. Okay, so now I need a really kind of good piece to make. This is not it. These are not a good place for a camp. Um. Ooh! Oh, crap. Okay, so... Clockwork. Clockwork are awesome to fight. But not in the very beginning when you don't have inventory space. So I'm going to make a mental note that the clockwork are here. I'm going to try and cover more than that. There we go. 
Uh, these clockwork especially are blue because they shoot little balls of energy. They hurt just a little bit. Hmm. Oh, frogs, so that's pretty cool. Hmm. I'm kind of far from the rabbits, so this place is going to be pretty decent for me to set up a camp if I can find rabbits a little closer. Go back up to the little brown patch and start building my base camp. Oh, I should have gone ahead and made some habit traps. Oh well. Right here will be good. Let's see. Of course, I just used the last of my rocks that I needed. Dang it. I'm gonna cook this bunny before he spoils. Delicious. I gotta go find some rocks. Oh, I found the next best thing! Hey, Chester, what up, my buddy? Best friends ever. Hold my stuff I don't need right now, please. Crap. Hmm. Woodford's battle helmet is you can actually go and keep building it. Um, so what I like to do is I keep one on my person and one in my inventory and that way if the one she's wearing wears off then she can just go and put on another one. Mid-battle. It's really nice how that works. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and make the straw hat. And give that to Chester just in case it rains. I'm not caught off guard. So I'm hoping I'll find some rocks on my way back to where I started, but I'm already there. <laughs> oh, almost, not quite yet. Maybe another pickaxe. Bunnies out of the trap. Hopefully there are some there. Just 
from here. Dang it. Okay, I'll fix that later. Now I'll just kill them. Because <laughs> they stack my head. Hmm. I need some more rocks. people who are in the southern rabbits, there will be some cops somewhere. Go ahead and start collecting some poop for my future farms. See if I can get a couple of traps down here. about um, rabbits and other innocent creatures. These are monsters and animals that don't necessarily fight you. Uh, they just run away. I like the gobbler. Um, if you do too many, they're called naughty bats. Um, Christmas will come out you. And that is exactly how you get a bad time. I have not encountered Krampus myself, thankfully, and I don't, I don't feel like it. Nope. Mm -mm. I hope my webcam isn't as laggy as looks to me right now. It's kind of upset with this. Any box, please? Kitty, please? Ooh! I'll take this, though. Well, it's more like, I'll take it and just will hold it for me. This friends. Pretty, please, can I have rocks? For science? What is that? Oh, it's just her. Aww, oh, it's Okay, fine. I'm gonna go up a little bit so the map knows that I found this wormhole. Now I'm gonna go back home, even though I really wanna explore all that for the place. No. Oh man. I'm gonna just take pennies, actually. It's really good to find stone and um, mine it all while you can, even if you have a little bit of a time crunch. 
Um, in Don't Starve versus Don't Starve Together, it's a little harder to make an alchemy in them, uh, presumably because you're not working with other people. Um, you have to craft two items first. You have to create uh, two electrical doodads. Ooh, bunny! And you have to create a lot of cut stone in order to do that. Um, it's like two cut stone for each doodad, and then another couple of cut stone for the onion itself. And some gold. I think I have just enough gold. We'll find out soon. Oh, no we won't because I'm going to be using it to make the science on it. Chester is more for like exploratory things, not for crafting items. Um, well, I mean, special rare crafting items. I feel like I'm gonna start with finding things. Has her own special battle spear. Dang it. <clears throat> well, Chester's gonna hold this one. Um, and then back that. Okay. And. I need some more logs to make my log suit. I'm gonna say D. I don't really need a shovel right now, so I'm not going to bother with that and the other things. Oh man, I don't need a lot more gold, unfortunately. To the south! Oh crap, I'm hungry. Um... I'm just going to light the world on fire, because I need charcoal. Uh, I need six charcoal to make my crock pot. Actually, I don't want to burn down this one. Just a lot of chocolate. these gears to eventually build myself an icebox, but I don't think I can do that until I have Some more trees on the burn. Oop, crap. I'm 
Don't give her a look around because she's always keep the eye button in the backpack. Um, when I go into battle, I like to put on a log suit uh, for armor, and you can't carry the log suit in the backpack. Um, well, you can't have armor in a backpack, period. Um, so I put Chester in the backpack, and that way when I go off into battle and drop my backpack, Chester doesn't follow me into battle, which can be a huge problem. Um, I end up accidentally attacking him a lot, because I'm a horrible person. a little far, but I think it'll be okay. You know what? Since I'm a little desperate for food. Go 
ahead and build a well I don't like building farms just yet. I like to wait until I have the deluxe farm, which we need the alchemy in them for. So I'm gonna take this poop for the here, along with the room thing. And I think it's time to murder some frogs. So I'm gonna drop the backpack. I said drop the backpack, please. Stay there. I'll do that. I hate that I'm doing this without any armor, but I mean, grass armor is pretty useless. It's probably a really good way to do this, other than with my friends. <laughs> I mean, look, look at all that health I didn't lose. And while sure, my helm is at 89%, I think I'll be okay. Hopefully enough. Hopefully I don't know nine. I'm bad at remembering numbers. Also, screw frog. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I can't have nice things. Oh man, I'm really bad at being patient. Come on. So you walk away. Just enough time, probably, to go and check on my money.
There we go. Okay. being so close, but I think it'll be okay. I guess next plan is to find more gold and more stone. the last day before I have to stop. I recently found out you can hammer down skeletons and get some bone shards out of that. And while I'm not sure what bone shards are good for yet, um, it's always nice to have good material. And it's good to know that you can break down the skeletons, especially the diet one, you know? Um, that was your skeleton. It's not one mocking you, and two is in your way. Oh, we found some spiders. I'm just gonna take care of them real quick. Drawing the web because I know there are more elsewhere, hopefully. <laughs> but also because I really need the web to make uh, fishing rods and bug nets. Uh, 
fishing rods are great. Uh, there's a whole lot of what's it called? Flotsam? Uh, where I destroyed that bit of uh, ship on the side of the world. Um, you can fish that in and actually get a lot of great resources out of it, whether it's just planks or twigs. Still, it's in bulk, so it's kind of nice. Um, but also you can go fishing in the fog ponds. That is a really easy way to get food. I forgot that I picked up a pickaxe. Like, where did this come from? Be able to really get these traps right on top so you could just chase bunnies back into the holes and get them out of the back. But I guess that was fixed. That is kind of cheating. Oh man, I don't have a lot of time at all. Take another torch. Oh nope, I guess not. I better get there in the time. Okay, phew. And for now. Important to stop the bunny filler. Please. 
<laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching. Um, I can't know what I'm playing so badly. Um, I'm really glad I got back into this. I think this is just an awesome experience just playing video games being able to share it with people and hopefully my webcam isn't as laggy as it looks to me right now but we'll see um thank you everyone for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like this video and you would wish to see more of it um oh, man i'm really excited for this i love don't starve okay well i'll see you all in the next video